polyalphabetic cipher. This is a substitution that involves using a series of monoalphabetic ciphers that are periodically reused. Visionaire cipher. Blaise de Visionaire, a French cryptographer of the 1500s, created this cipher. Visionaire cipher has a similar method of encryption as Caesar cipher, but uses a far more complex encryption key. This is a more secure cipher than a Caesar cipher. The plain text is enciphered using a string instead of a singular number or letter. Each alphabetical character in plain text is shifted by the letter in the keyword. Visionaire cipher encryption. In this example, Alice wants to send Bob a message. Meet me tomorrow. They agree the keyword is trials. To understand how to encrypt this, we need a table like this. As the message has 14 characters, the grid needs 14 columns, one for each character. The first row is the keyword trials. This word is repeated to fill all the columns. The next row is the numerical representation for each letter of the keyword. The third row is the message, meet me tomorrow. Row four is the numerical representation for the plain text message. Row 5 is the total of the columns in the second and fourth rows added together using modular 26. 19 plus 12 equals 31. As the number 31 exceeds the number of alphabetical letters, following the modular 26 calculation, the alphabet is repeated. So 31 becomes 5. So the numerical representation of 5 is the letter F. Likewise, 17 plus 4 equals 21. The number 21 is within the first numerical representation of the alphabet. So modular 26 calculation is not required. Therefore, 21 represents V. Use the modular 26 formula to calculate each column and insert the relevant character in row 6. Meet me tomorrow becomes encrypted to this. Kaczynski method if a string of characters appears repeatedly in a polyalphabetic ciphertext message, it is possible that the distance between the reoccurring character is a multiple of the length of the keyword. Eve has intercepted this ciphertext message sent by Alice to Bob. Eve has created this table. Trigrams is an identical string of characters that are repeated in ciphertext. The number of occurrences means how many times the trigram has occurred. To work out the distance, you must always start and finish on the same character within the trigram. The first trigram is UUA. It has occurred twice in the ciphertext message. To work out the distance, we start with the letter A in the first trigram and count how many characters are between it and the A in the second trigram, like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. The second trigram is UAE. It has occurred twice and the distance is 18. The third is AET. It has occurred twice and the distance is 18. The fourth trigram is ETP. It has occurred twice and the distance is 18. The fifth is TPA. It has occurred twice and the distance is 18. The sixth trigram is PAR. Again it has occurred twice and the distance is 18. The final trigram is ARW. It has occurred twice and the distance is 18. 
Then solve the distances by 18. You need to work out that the factor of 18 are 2, 3, 6 or 9. Any one of these factors can represent the number of letters in the keyword. At this stage, Eve guesses the length of a keyword to be 6, so Eve will attempt to decipher the message. Bring back the ciphertext message. A table like this is created. The top row has 6 cells, as Eve thinks this is the number of characters in the keyword. The bottom row is the most common letter that appears in each column. The ciphertext message is split into groups of six characters and put in the table like this. The most common letter in the first column is U. In column 2, there is no common significant letter. In column 3, there are two common letters, W and A. In column 4, there are no common significant letters. In column 5, the most common letter is T. And in column 6, the most common letter is G. This graph represents the amount of times each letter occurs in the English language. As you can see, E is the most common letter. Eve looks at the most frequently occurring characters in each column and hopes one of them represents E. Eve assumes that G is the ciphertext letter for E. Eve replaces all ciphertext letter Gs in the column with plain text letter E. Assuming G was encrypted as E, this is Eve's calculations to work out the key. Using numerical representation, G equals 6, E equals 4. 6 minus 4 equals 2. 2 is the numerical representation for C. This is the key letter for this column. Since Eve has worked out the key, which is C, Eve can decipher the remaining ciphertext letters in the column. She updates the original ciphertext message with the plain text letters from column 6. Eve notices the first letter of the ciphertext is a singular letter word which could be an A or an I. She guesses the ciphertext U is a plain text I. She updates all the ciphertext U's to plain text I's. To calculate the key, U equals 20, I equals 8. 20 minus 8 equals 12. 12 is M. Therefore, the key letter is M. Eve decrypts all of the ciphertext letters in the column and updates the plain text message. As yet, Eve cannot guess the message, so she continues decrypting the columns. She notices a three-letter word with two plain text letters, N and D, and a ciphertext I in front. She believes this word to be AND. The ciphertext I is in the fifth column. She replaces this with the plain text A, and all the other I's in the column are changed too. To calculate the key letter, I equals 8, A equals 0, 8 minus 0 equals 8, therefore 8 is I. She updates the column ciphertext to plain text and then amends the ciphertext message. She notices a two letter word with plain text B and ciphertext C. It could be B or by. She guesses B. So the ciphertext C could be a plain text E. To calculate the key letter, C equals 2, E equals 4. Using the modular 26 calculation, 2 minus 4 equals 24. Therefore, 24 equals Y. So the key letter is Y. Eve takes the column and amends the message appropriately. Elements of the message are now becoming clear. She notices a seven-letter word that has five plain text letters and two ciphertexts. She focuses on this. She looks for words starting E-A-R and ending S-T with two spaces in between. There is only one compatible word, earnest. So if N was encrypted as F, the key letter here is S. And if E was encrypted as X, the key letter here is T. Eve updates the third and fourth column and is able to decipher all the remaining ciphertext. She updates the message with a completed table 
and is able to read the plain text message using the key Mystic.